Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee, yeah? Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of Friday, December 13th through Sunday, December 15th, 2019. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, so just with, just because it's dated for the 13th, has to resonate and will only resonate during that time when you are whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you then that is the message for you at that time also keep in mind that um this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave what doesn't yes this is not going to resonate well it probably most likely isn't going to resonate completely for everybody yeah so funny little thing this morning when i woke up um i was getting connected with my day and I was looking at my phone, blah, blah, blah. And I looked at the date and I noticed that it was Friday the 13th. <laughs> yeah, Friday the 13th. At least it's Friday the 13th on the day that I'm recording, recording this. Um, and this is right after we just had our full moon in Gemini. Um, so I thought that was really cool. I, again, I'm, there's been so much going on in my life re over this past week that I've been completely oblivious to a lot of different things. Um, I'm even surprised that I've been like keeping it together and it's not that things are bad it's just that there's a lot going on right now so anyway I thought that was really cool um all right so let's get into the energies that we have today and we're starting kicking you off overall energy we have Gemini here with the lovers now this doesn't really have anything to do you know Gemini doesn't really have anything to do with the reading per se because this is really a general reading but I just thought that was cool <laughs> anyway we have the lovers on the other side of the deck is the four of swords yes now getting into the energies on the table here we do have the ten of wands with the King of Pentacles and the Moon. And then we also have the Five of Cups with the Three of Swords. And then finally, the Knight of Wands. So we really could be talking, okay. Okay, I just heard, I just heard that this is the inner masculine. I was about to say we could be talking about the divine masculine, your divine masculine counterpart, or your inner masculine energy. Or you, if you are someone that resonates strongly with masculine energy. And I want to clarify that you it is absolutely could be you if you are now just recently starting to resonate more with your masculine energy. So I, that's why Spirit actually did specifically say, this is the inner masculine. This is your inner masculine. Because everybody has, oh, okay, all right. Everybody has masculine and feminine energy. So I think... Uh, Spirit is kind of influencing me to um, to just refer to it as your inner masculine rather than saying if you identify with one thing more than another. Again, guys, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But it seems here that um, an activation is happening. This Knight of Wands energy, when I when I first pulled, when this first came out and I was reading through this, um, this Knight of Wands energy, Spirit was saying, is representative of the Path of Awakening, because you see how you have this lightning here. So, it, this lightning is very similar to the lightning that's on the Eight of Wands in this deck. Um, at least it's giving me that energy. Uh, it's giving me that feeling. Um, and in the Eight of Wands. On the side of the card that has this lightning on it there's also that pegasus on there and it's very indicative of the fact that you know you better start moving or the universe is going to start moving things for you you know or the gods are going to take over and they're going to they're going to have their way with you <laughs> if you don't get going yourself um so i think this is the activation this is the wake-up call spirit is saying this is the moment of truth this is the moment where someone sees the light sees the truth sees the inspiration the flash of inspiration the flash of light the spark of creation if you want to call it that even um it's also very similar to the ace of wands in this deck on one side in which a bolt of lightning is striking a tree um I just feel like this is the activation point. It's, it's, this really feels like a moment of realization for someone. <sighs> okay. Yes. All right. I'm going to say it this way because what I heard was a moment of realization for someone that has messed up, for someone that has made maybe some pretty big mistakes. Um, 
but take that with a grain of salt because even if you're in an energy of feeling oh my god you guys so wait i'm gonna stop for a second and i'm gonna mention this to you you remember how i, I have a new setup i have a new system here i'm not using the same camera and i'm not using the same laptop that i used to use for my for these videos for the readings i used to use um an apple laptop an old one um and i would use photo booth to record the readings and I could see the time counter at the bottom. And you guys remember how I was watching the time counter go backwards <laughs> and then start over again? Well, it just happened on my new system. It was at five minutes. And I, as I looked at the, at the, the numbers, it was five at five minutes. And then it jumped back to like four minutes and 58 seconds or something. And I watched it roll back to five. This is a brand new system, you guys. So, <laughs> Time is an illusion, y'all. Like, let's just make that clear. Okay, great. <laughs> let's get back into the reading here. Take the energy or the statement of messed up or made some mistakes here with a grain of salt. Because ultimately, whatever mistakes, I'm going to put them in air quotes because I really don't believe they're them to be, I don't really feel like they're mistakes. They are, they are part of your learning process, okay? So you might label them as a mistake, but ultimately it's leading you towards greater understanding, towards greater awareness, towards greater awakening. But it seems that someone, uh, and it may very well have been this last Gemini full moon that has helped bring this into focus for you, okay? Because we do have, speaking of focus, <laughs> And no, I'm not turning off auto autofocus because then, you know, I won't be able to hold the cards up, you know, and, and keep things in focus. I'm keeping autofocus on. I just have to learn how to work with it. Thank you for the suggestion, though. But anyway, um, this last Gemini full moon could have really brought this into focus for you. Um, what I'm getting here is that you could also be recognizing this could have something to do with your father, a father figure in your life. Um, and some of the things you may have learned from him. Um, I just got that specifically. But this really could be, you know, you have the moon, you have Gemini here with the lovers. So it's like someone is starting to realize there's some starting some 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 um cycles or hidden cycles of burden or hidden burdens that are plaguing you. You do have the five of cups with the three of swords also. So It's like you're looking into it. You're looking into the pain. You're looking into the burden. You're looking into the heartbreak. You're looking into things that have been lost, trying to understand why. Um, there's, there is a deep sense of sorrow here. There's also a deep sense of loathing. It's almost as if someone's money, status, um, maybe even their career, their job, it, it, it feels like someone is starting to understand or perceive how heavily that is weighing on them, how burdened they are, how maybe even trapped you might feel really trapped um, by your physical surroundings. And this and and the thing about this that makes this so much so so much more difficult to deal with, or maybe even difficult to understand, is the fact that whatever it is materially and physically that you find yourself surrounded by, that is cre that is burdening you, okay, burdening you. Look, and it's this side of the Ten of Wands where we see this gentleman is walking towards a home, is walking towards an established situation, carrying all these wands. It's as if all of these things, all these physical elements that are surrounding you are burdening you are weighing you down and the hardest part to, about this to deal with is the fact that these are things that you have worked long and hard for tirelessly for you stroke i mean this is what you wanted at least at one point this is what you thought you wanted but now that you have it you see clearly now and you recognize how much you actually really may have lost in the process just to get yourself there and so the element of feeling trapped here, okay, is an illusion, first of all, but that's also where you could feel like you're trapped. Now, don't get me wrong, okay, this King of Pentacles energy is giving me an energy, is giving me a feeling like this is well manifested. All of this is work well done. It's not like you did that. It's not, in no way have you like half asked this at all. It's just now you're starting to recognize that lo without love, money, status, fame, 
fortune, riches, what, all of that shit, it doesn't mean anything. It's just material. It's just an object that you can see, you can touch, maybe you can taste it. Uh, you, you know what I mean? Maybe you can hear it depending on what it is, but without love, it's nothing. It has no meaning. It's empty. It's vapid. It's, it, it, you know? And thus, we have an activation. Someone coming to their senses and recognizing just how important emotion is, feeling is. Okay, look, th th for whomever this is for, ultimately, I mean, look, you do have this four of swords at the bot at the other side of the deck, and you see how the whatever, what is this, the city or whatever, the forest, whatever, behind this person is burning down. Things really might be crumbling for you or cr crumbling around you right now. I do get, I am getting that this is an energetic crumble. I don't really feel like things are really falling apart physically just yet. It may come to a point where you might rip it apart but ultimately this is not a failure maybe it's a setback i don't know but ultimately this is helping you learn so it is in fact part of the journey so i really don't even want to call it a mistake for you okay Whew. all right so let me give this one more shuffle and then we will see oh look at that there's the Ace of Cups at the bottom of uh, uh, overall, and then Death. Okay. This is good, guys. Transformation is happening. Love is coming into focus for someone. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, December 13th through Sunday, December 15th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, I'm giving this five shuffles, um, but as I do that, I want to tell you what I see. I see the colors. The colors started with yellow, and then it went up to green, and then it was pink. And pink is the unconditional love of the universe that is being that is flowing towards you in order to help you make this transition, in order to help you love yourself through this transition, because because regardless of what the physical circumstances, the actual circumstances might look like, what it might seem like, even what it might feel like, this is not a bad thing. This is all part of your evolution, evolutionary process. This is all part of your expansion and your awakening, okay? So please, 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 please do not beat yourself up about this. Do not be too hard on yourself about this, especially if you're an earth sign. <laughs> but like me specifically, I'm a Taurus. I... I'm a Taurus with a, with, a, with, a, with a Leo moon and a Virgo rising. I beat the absolute pulp out of myself sometimes. Most of the time, actually. I, I constantly find hear, hear my, my guides and spirits saying to me, Eric, why are you so hard on yourself? And I say right back to them, I have no idea. I guess it's just how I'm wired. Please do not beat yourself up about this. You have not failed. You have just come to a realization that there is something deeper to life that you would like to experience, period. Okay. That was two. This is three. Four. And five. All right, guys. Sip some coffee here. Okie dokie. Let's see what we've got for today. Well, for the weekend, actually. More. More, 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 more. Woo! Uh-oh. 
Okay. Ooh, all right. Okay, we're stopping here. Overall energy. Wow, we do have the Knight of Swords with... Okay, well, there's the Three of Swords again. Um, we have a number of cards here. Ooh. Seven of Swords. Upright. Okay, they're saying to keep that upright. Okay, Six of Cups, Queen of Wands in reverse. King of Cups, upright, Nine of Wands. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, the Empress, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, tale as old as time. I just heard that in my head, tale as old as time. Beauty and the Beast. And yet it seems that the Beast is no longer being so beastly, maybe. Now, me, personally, I don't mind the Beast. I don't mind him at all. I never mind. It, 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 I, <laughs> I don't mind the beast at all. It's just a matter of him needing to understand that he is in fact lovable, that he he's not a monster, and that's what you're learning here. King of Cups, Nine of Wands. This Nine of Wands has been coming out quite a bit lately, um, and it speaks to going into some sort of I like to call it a hyperbolic chamber, um, some sort of cocoon uh, for rest and healing and recuperation. Yes? At least this side of the wand, this side of the Nine of Wands represents that for me. It's helping you get your heart back. King of Cups. Now, okay, fine. So the Queen of Wands is in reverse, okay? Um, but coupled what i'm getting here if this is come on focus if this is a counterpart situation if we are talking about your counterparts here um it's the queen of wands is just in reverse because she's not a part of your life right now she's not ugh. for some of you i'm hearing she's not wanting to be a part of your life right now that's not for everybody well, actually, maybe it is. Okay, maybe it is, it, it, is, it is kind of for a good amount of people. The reason why she's not wanting to be a part of your life right now is because you have some healing and some growing to do, that's all. But with this side of the Six of Cups here, this side of the Six of Cups is, the t is a moment where it's like, okay, y'all have been out in the ethers in Fantasyland for a while. It's time to come home. You know, you've got responsibilities, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. You, it's time to like... Okay, it's time to go to bed now or something. So this is that moment where, I, I guess you could call this separation. Now, if we're not talking about counterparts, if we're talking, I mean, I mean external counterparts, if we're talking about your internal balance here, this is the masculine energy needing to come back home to where his natural counterpart is, the feminine. And that's what's happening here with this, okay? I hope this is making sense. I feel like I'm a little I'm a little scattered or I maybe I'm not explaining it correctly or as thoroughly, but I hope it's making sense. Okay. Um I'm not feel I'm really not feeling any malice here. I'm not feeling any anger, resentment or anything like that. It's really just a matter of it's time it's time to come home. It's time to come home to yourself. It's time to for you to start integrating your masculine and your feminine energy many of us are already on the path of doing that and so it's not like i'm saying anybody's really resisting anymore i really don't feel like there's that much resistance here there might be reluctance there may be a need to be honest with yourself and call a spade a spade and be like, look, I got to do this. I got to, I got to come home. I got to go home. I got to be who I truly am. That's what I'm hearing. I've got to integrate with myself. I've got to grow up and show up 
not just for myself, but for my family who needs me. But you see, your family does need you. They need you to be authentic. They need you to not enable their toxicity or whatnot, whatever, if that's your case, if that's the situation for you. Now, getting to the other side of the equation here, we have the Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Empress, and the Wheel of Fortune. And it's interesting because the Seven of Swords did fall off the table and fell into my lap. Um, and I'm remembering how Sal, I don't, many of you do watch Sal. I haven't really watched him much lately, um, but he says that, you know, he has this practice where if it falls off the table, we don't read it. I don't necessarily do that, but it's giving me the feeling of the Seven of Swords fell off the table because deception is going by the wayside for the most part. Now, that's not without its troubles because we do have the Five of Wands. Um, we, okay, so there is definitely differing of opinion. There, could, there definitely could be fighting within the family. I kind of feel like um, if this is a family situation, it doesn't have to be a family situation, but I did pick up on that specifically. It also could be just whomever you is around you, whomever you're dealing with, you know, your social circle, the people that you surround yourself with, what the, your colleagues, maybe the people that you work with, whatever. Whomever it is that you're going up against in terms of this transformation that you're going through, okay? That's where the differing of opinion comes in. That's where the eruption of emotions, that's where the, you know, the fighting that maybe even extreme ego battles, if they're not just a, uh, your, <laughs> if, they're, if they're not just your um, run-of-the-mill hissy fit, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but things are changing, okay? Deception is coming, is, is being uncovered, is being seen for what it truly is. Um, and change is happening. Wheel of Fortune, change is happening. Cycles of death and rebirth are, 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 are being moved through. The Empress energy here is in fact talking about the abundance of the situation. That's kind of what I'm getting um, from her, from her energy here. <clears throat> All is not lost. I'm hearing the truth will set you free. You do have this hawk here. Or at least it kind of looks like a hawk. It's not, it doesn't, I don't know, I actually don't really know what bird that is. It kind of looks like a hawk to me. Um, and hawks are symbolized, are symbolic of masculine energy, but also of seeing things from a higher point of view, being able to see things very, very clearly for what it truly is, being able to pinpoint something from a distance and like nail it down. Um, truthfulness, honesty is necessary here. You do have the Knight of Swords. There could be some sort of uh, heated argument or at least some sort of some sort of contentious conversation that quite frankly has probably needed to have been had for a long time not gonna lie all right that's just what i'm picking up here because you do also have the three of swords at the other side of the deck okay so someone is i'm hearing someone is realizing how heartbroken they've been how dece how 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 they've really been truly deceived by the people that love claim to have loved them and I and and it's not that they don't love that you that they don't love you. It's also you have to look at it, especially from this King of Cups point of view, this emotional maturity. You have to look at it from the point of view of they're wounded too. They have their own healing to do. They only approach they they only approached you or treated you a certain way because of how they feel towards themselves inside or or whatnot, whatever that kind of energy. You know what I mean? <clears throat> that doesn't mean that there aren't some things that need to be said though. Okay, the King of Cups energy is very much mature enough to look at you and be like, okay, I see, I, I see why that could have happened, but also you need to be, <laughs> you need to be aware of how it has affected me. It's a tricky balance, guys. It is definitely a tricky balance. Okay, so let's move into some clarification. And what I really want to clarify here is this energy, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Empress, and the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to be using the Crystal Visions Tarot for this today. Ooh. 
Because this, this energy here is, it does feel pretty vague. So I definitely want to get a little deeper for you here. One more shuffle. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh. oh. Okay. So someone is definitely, and I'm going to take the top three. Someone is definitely in an energy of um, manifesting something seriously, taking their power back, doing this in on for themselves with the magician energy. I got that very, very strongly. Overall, though, we do have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands has been coming out a lot recently, or at least it came out a few times, a number of times this week. Um, and it's giving me very strongly an energy of victory, overcoming obstacles, okay? Overcoming adversity, all right? That's the that's the that's the victory at hand here. You're overcoming some sort of adversity. Get it? I mean, look, this is the top three cards. I was guided to take the top three cards on the deck, and it was none other than the three of wands, the two of wands, and the devil. So you've been following a path for a certain amount of time. You've been on your you've been you know you've been like I said in the beginning of the reading. It's like you've been working towards something for a very very long time tirelessly just keep going keeping the momentum going and then you come to the realization wait a second then you're like hold on there's all this devil energy around me there's all this toxicity around me there's there's this negativity there's something is hurting me and thus you were faced with a crossroads you had a decision to make okay and it looks like you made it you took your power back Okay, the magician. You made it from a, wow, you made it from a place of love, love for yourself, ace of cups. Maybe even a love love for another person too. But then there's the two of cups, which is the balance between masculine and feminine energy within you. Something, something influenced you to start balancing that out. Eight of wands to the fool. Look at that, guys. Then you also have the ten of pentacles and the chariot yes why because a lesson had been learned here you had reached the, the end of a cycle and actually what i'm getting with this ten of pentacles is it kind of feels like you reached a dead end so circling back to that king of pentacles energy that came out before in the beginning of the reading it's like you worked so hard towards something and you've achieved some certain level of of achievement and and, and material wealth physical wealth uh, abundance whatnot whatever status fame whatnot whatever and yet you realized, well, this is as far as I can go. Wait a second, this can't be it. Well, no, that's not it. Because there's something else out there. There is another part that you probably chose to neglect for a long time, and that's love. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Okay. The Chariot is that energy of moving in the direction that your heart is guiding you towards, moving in the direction that your soul is guiding you towards even, okay? This might feel really tumultuous. There, there may be a lot of turmoil around you. Um, this might be really hard for you to deal with, especially if you're dealing with some sort of strong family ties that you're needing to release yourself from. And it's not because you're releasing yourself from your family because you hate your family. It's your, you would need to release yourself from these things because it's toxic, you guys. No matter who these people are in your life, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your grandma, your grandpa, your second cousin, your third cousin, your first cousin, your auntie and uncle six, uh, six times removed, um, your best friend, your lover, your husband, um, the people that you grew up with, you know, that you've been friends for 20 or 30 years. Toxicity is toxicity, guys. It doesn't matter what the source is. It's still toxic. And as we're going through this awakening process, we're starting to realize and come to terms with the fact that toxicity has no place in our lives anymore. It doesn't serve us any longer. It never, re well, it did serve us at one point, but that time is up. Why? Because we're awakening to it. We're recognizing that we, we don't want this toxicity in our lives any longer. And so if this is family that you're disconnecting from or you're shifting the dynamic within, 
it's also in service of them too because you're not going to enable them any longer. You're finally, you're, well, okay, yes, I'll say it this way. You're finally coming into the sense of emotional maturity to say this is not good for me and it's not good for you either. And as long as I play this game with you, we're, it, I'm enabling you and I, I love you enough to say I am not going to do that any longer. And of course, there are some people out there that are going to be like, oh, wow, gee, you love me enough to, to, to remove yourself from my life so you can't enable, enable me? That sounds messed up. That sounds backwards. You don't love me. You're, you're leaving me. No, actually, I am removing myself from the toxic energy. I am not going to engage with you in this any longer. Period. Emotional maturity, man get into it <laughs> okay i want to get spirit's final take on this and we're going to get our oracle guidance from the light worker or oracle for this weekend yes i think there might be something is something flipped over here no. Okay. <sighs> All right. One more shuffle, and then we will get Spirit's final message on this here. This magician energy is very much giving me a, a feeling of someone really being in control. In control of their lives, in control of themselves, and really taking their power back and moving forward to where it is they want to be okay better version a better vision for themselves a better version of themselves page of pentacles is the overall energy here from spirit's final message so you guys whomever this is for you have definitely leveled up and there is a little bit of fear and apprehension apprehension here just because this is new to you and i don't really feel like you have many people around you to be an example to help you move through your path. But you see, that's that's okay because you're off the beaten path now. You are, fi you are okay, fine. You're finally moving in the direction that your soul has been call calling you towards. And that is not a path that anyone really probably has really walked before. It's not meant to be. This is you, this is your life. This is your path. This is your experience. This is your awakening, okay? It's not, it doesn't, it's not really supposed to, or it doesn't have to look like anyone else's path. Of course, there are going to be some similarities, but you, you get what I'm saying. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Look, you have the activation again with the Knight of Wands and you have the Fool again. Both are returning, making a return appearance here. Okay. The Knight of Wands came out in the pre-shuffle and the Fool, where is that Fool? Is right here. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Okay. I like this, guys. Then you also have the Knight of Swords again. Temperance, Strength, and also the Nine of Swords. Okay. That makes sense. But look, you guys, there are some conversations that need to happen. Someone needs to speak the truth. Someone's got to rip the Band-Aid off at some point. Just do it. There's no sense in trying to peel it off, uh, uh, wincing off of as, as you peel it off of every hair that is almost ripped out of your arm. You know what I mean? No, just rip the thing off. It's interesting because what I'm getting with this is someone knows what they have to fight for. Someone knows what they need to say. Someone knows. And you might have been avoiding this for some time. But the time is now and you might be afraid of you might be fearful you might be afraid afraid you might have anxiety however you do still have the strength to know that this is what needs to be done and you're gonna do it eventually is what i just heard so you might right now be in an energy of trying to cultivate that strength but also what temperance is saying with this in this whole situa situation is especially coupled with, with strength, is someone has the strength to know that there's a greater balance that needs to be stricken. 
and I'm hearing things like you're going to do it no matter what. You're going to do it regardless of the circumstances. You're going to do it no regardless of how much it may hurt you or them initially, because ultimately, you know that in order to, again, ultimately, you know that in order to strike this balance, temperance, you have to have the strength to say what needs to be said. This feels, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not going to lie, this feels good. Even though you have this anxiety here, this feels good. It feels very mature. It's almost as if spirit is like very proud of you in this moment for understanding and knowing what it is you have to do and not being afraid even to admit that you're freaking the fuck out <laughs> regardless of whether you're saying it to other people or not you're saying it to yourself you're well aware you know you've got to do this and it's freaking you out but hey them's the breaks right you're never going to be free you're never really going to be truly free until you stand up until you have the strength to stand up for yourself and what you truly believe in, what you know is right for you. This is not about what's right or wrong for anyone else other than yourself. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. Very, very good, guys. Very good. All right. Definitely a light worker oracle type of day or weekend. No, oh, my box is upside down. Huh. Anyway, let's see. Let's see what we've got today. Or, sorry, for the weekend. What is our oracle guidance for the weekend? Oracle guidance for the weekend, please, spirit. Okay. I'm going to take all three of those. So this is going to be a little bit of an extended Oracle guidance situation, but three of the... Wow. Whoa. Whoa, this is good, you guys. Okay, so first you have card number 44, seventh ray of ritual order and ceremony. This is a master number. Um, indicative of the angels. Okay. And then you have card number 22, which is another master number, initiation by fire. So we could be talking twin flames. We could be talking counterparts. We could be talking twin flame activation here. But we all, all also, I mean, the common theme of this reading is activation, right? Okay. And then we also have card number 13. Shit, y'all. Trust in the plan. And it's the freak. It's Friday the 13th, you guys. I mean, damn. At least at the time of me recording this, it's Friday the 13th. Holy moly. All right, let's start with, we're going to start with 44. And we're going to work our way back. And I'm not going to read all of these, like the whole definition, but I am going to read the, the top blurb. When the gift of the seventh ray enters your life, something new is being formed, something that will benefit your world. There may be an increased interest in magic, ceremony, and ritual for healing purposes. Resonating with high-frequency violet light and the Archangel Zadkiel, the seventh ray also helps transmute energy from lower to higher frequency. It is a spiritual cleansing agent that allows the truth of spiritual freedom, empowerment, and choice to be seen and felt, restoring hope, and joy to the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. Especially the part about um, transmuting lower, lower frequency energies to higher frequency energy. And that's kind of what I was picking up on with that King of Pentacles in the beginning. It's like you've worked so hard for all that material, but now you're starting to recognize, you're starting to realize or integrate the higher wisdom that is all around you and now you're moving up for moving up in the vibratory rate for bigger and better things higher but more vibrate higher vibrational things and that absolutely does include love but also it includes love in a healthy and balanced way king of cups 
not narcissistic, not manipulative, not conditional love, unconditional love. And if the circumstances around you do not facilitate unconditional love, then you have got to make some changes. But at this point, I'm just beating a dead horse because you know this already. Mm -hmm. Card number 22, initiation by fire. Initiation by fire is a life-changing spiritual cleansing. Your life will never be the same again. Allow the power of divine fire to clear and purify you inside and out. This is not a time to hold on to anything, no matter how much you once believed you needed it. In letting go, you will gain so much more than you ever imagined, opening to fresh blessings and new life. You are like the phoenix, ready to emerge from the holy flames, reborn. I mean, there is really nothing else for me to say about that one. So finally, we're going to just move on to card number 13. Uh, trust in the plan. And also, 13 is a number of death, change, and transformation. Boop. In preparation for radical growth, there can be temporary disorder and chaos. Whilst the mind may worry that something is going wrong, the spirit knows that this is a way for the old to, to disassemble so the new can be formed. Although you may feel out of control during such times, you do not need to resist the process. There is no need to attempt to impose your own sense of order upon the greater plan. You do not need to seek solutions, for there is no problem here in need of solving. What has been is being cleared away in preparation for the next chapter in your life. Have faith. All is well. All right, guys. So with that, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic Friday the 13th. I also hope you have a fantastic weekend. And with that, I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.